private sector to once again reemerge competitively, to scale back the size of government, and to maintain our strength abroad in our military capacities. I believe that to change Washington in such a dramatic way, you cannot do it by people who've been there their entire careers. I, I believe if you just elect the same people to change chairs in Washington, not much will happen. I think if you want to change Washington, you're going to have to bring someone in who's been on the outside. I have lived in the private sector. I know how it works. I've competed with businesses around the world. I know how to win. I know what it takes to keep America strong. I know how to work in government. I've had experience for five, four years, rather, working as the governor of Massachusetts. I will use the experience of my life to get America right, and I will be able to convince the American people that someone with my experience is very different than Barack Obama, and that experience is how I'll beat him. Mr. Speaker, why are you the one person on this stage most likely to beat President Obama? You know, I've participated in the two largest Republican sweeps in modern time, 1980 in the Reagan campaign and 1994 with the contract with America, which had the largest one-party increase in American history, 9 million extra votes. I believe that what we need this fall is a big choice election that goes to the heart of who we are. I'm running more than anything for my two grandchildren, Maggie and Robert. I'd like them to be able to look back 50 years from now and say that what we did, what we the American people did, the choice we made in 2012 to unleash the American people, to rebuild our country based on the core values, to pose for the American people a simple choice. Do you want freedom and independence and a paycheck and a job, or do you want dependence and big government and food stamps and a lack of future? And I believe if we have a big election with truly historic big choices, that we can defeat Barack Obama by a huge margin, but it won't be by running just as a Republican. It will be an American campaign open to every American who prefers a paycheck to food stamps, who prefers the Declaration of Independence to Saul Alinsky, and who prefers a strong national security to trying to appease our enemies. S Senator. I'll repeat the question for you. Why do you think you're the best, most qualified person on this stage to beat President Obama? I agree with the previous two speakers that this is a big election. This is an election about fundamental freedom. It's an election about who America is going to be. Are we a country that's going to be built great from the bottom up? as our founders intended, or from the top down. I just think I'm a lot better than the previous two speakers to be able to make that case to the American public. I'm not for a top-down government-run health care system. I wasn't for the Wall Street bailouts like these two gentlemen were. Governor Romney talks about private sector and how he's going to bring private sector. When the private sector was in trouble, he voted for government to come in and take over the private sector and be able to, and, and to bail them out. Cap and trade, both of them bought into the global warming hoax, bought into the cap and trade, top down control of our energy and manufacturing sector. If you look at President Obama's speech the other night, what did he lead with? He led with manufacturing. He led with manufacturing, why? Because the base of his party, the one that are always the ones that, not the base, the, the swing vote in his party, the ones that Ronald Reagan was able to get. We call them Reagan Democrats up in Pennsylvania. Those are the blue collar working people of America who know that this president has left them behind. He has a plan for them and it's more dependency, not work, not opportunity. So he went out and tried to make a play for manufacturing. That's been the center point of my campaign. The center point of my campaign is to be able to win the industrial heartland, get those Reagan Democrats back, talking about manufacturing, talking about building that ladder of success all the way down so people can climb all the way up. That's why I'm the best person to be able to go out and win the states that are necessary to win this presidency and govern with the mandate that Newt just talked about. Thank you, Senator, and thank you to the four presidential candidates. I also want to thank our partners in this debate, the Republican Party of Florida, the Hispanic Leadership uh, Network. Thank you very much to them. We'd also like to thank our hosts here on the campus of the University of North Florida in Jacksonville. Uh, be sure to join us Tuesday night. Our coverage begins 6 p.m. Eastern, live coverage of the Florida primary. Our coverage of America's Choice 2012 continues right now.